everybody welcome back to HNS collectibles so besides doing my little uh, uh, view contest drawing uh, I wanted to finish up the October haul uh, so I did have a couple things that I technically ordered in October but uh, they're not going to be here until next week so um, I'm just I'll count them as part of the November haul but I did have a few things that I had to uh, uh, do an addendum to my October uh, haul so one thing I picked up I was real happy to get um, and I'll do a video on it later but I got the NECA uh, Ultimate John Matrix uh, very cool and uh, uh, there'll be a video on him in the coming weeks a uh, friend of mine went to uh, New Mexico this week and uh, he popped into a toy store there and he found uh, the ultimate T1000 motorcycle cop version um, for a good price. Uh, this one has kind of gone up in price lately so I was happy with the price that the toy store had for it and while he was at the toy store he got me this uh, uh, Vinamate Mechagodzilla figure. Uh, and I'll, I'm going to do one video, I think, later on all the uh, Vinamate Godzillas I got recently. Uh, and then for uh, Comic Fest for Halloween, um, and I guess they just released these on the 26th in comic book stores around the country, uh, was a Mecha Godzilla uh, Shadow version. So he's, he's a uh, black and silver themed uh, Mecha Godzilla, but uh, like I said, I'm going to do a, uh, a video of these two and the other two that I got in the October haul video, uh, which was actually sitting right here, the Godzilla 1999 figure uh, and the Godzilla 1954 Vinamate, and as you can see, this stuff's just piling up on me. Uh, the same buddy who picked up all that stuff went to a flea market, and for a dollar, found me this old uh, player strategy guide that had Godzilla on the cover and uh, uh, talks about Godzilla and the Robocop game and uh, forget exactly when this came out it was I don't know uh, maybe I don't know late 80s early 90s it, it just has a volume and issue number on it doesn't have a date on it and I I don't want to take the time to open it up right now so I might just throw that in a later video and then you saw my you may have seen my earlier video I got the Godzilla Criterion uh, collection this week so uh, that's that for that um, one other thing my buddy picked me up on the way home uh, was this uh, uh, Mega uh, Mega Constructs uh, Masters of the Universe set, uh, which I may go over at a later date. If you watch my office tour video, you can see I've already got the He-Man figure over on my uh, uh, Kane Hodder machete. And uh, let's see, and then I had a few more movies. So my uh, father-in-law uh, got me this uh, kind of cool-looking copy of Saw Two. And I really dig it because uh, it's a clear uh, slip cover and a clear uh, case. Um, I don't know if it's just missing the sleeve or uh, or what, but I like it. I like it just being clear like that. Um, and uh, of course, there's the saw blade uh, on it. So I already have a saw set, but I, I like this. I like this version, so I'm gonna throw it in the collection. Um, I think at the same store he picked that up, I found a copy of uh, John Dies at the End for five bucks on Blu-ray. only watched that one time. It was an interesting movie, I'll, I'll put it that way, but I did enjoy it. And then in my previous haul video, um, I said that I bought the Piranha remake at a uh, used DVD store. Uh, <clears throat> so off of my buddy uh, Q the Horror Fan... Uh, you can check out his channel. Um, I ordered uh, Piranha Double D. Didn't order it, I just bought it off of him. But uh, uh, he sent me Piranha Double D. And then he sent me uh, the Umbrella Entertainment release of the Blob remake from the late 80s. So watch that <laughs> for uh, my 31 Days of Horror. I really like that one. And then at a used bookstore, I found this. 
Uh, my wife spotted it on the way out the door and I thought it was too cool to not grab for $2. Um, was the uh, Just Desserts uh, making of Creep Show on DVD. Now I have this on Blu-ray and if you're a Creep Show fan you need to get this. Um, I, I don't think any of the stuff in here was put on the, the Scream Factory release of Creep Show. Uh, I'd have to go check of which special features are on what. I've, I've watched them all and it all runs together, but, but this is really a, a, a special features disc worth having. Uh, so the one I have is on Blu-ray, and, and I just thought that this was interesting that it's in this little cardboard, um, cardboard uh, like CD single uh, case, and it's got the creep on the cover there. So yeah, for two bucks. Uh, I grabbed it and, and it's just going to be in the collection here, so too cool. So that's the rest of my uh, October haul. Uh, the things that I know I did order was a, uh, a NECA plaid shirt zombie. Uh, I've been wanting one of those for a while and I found one at a great price. I just hope it comes as it was described. If it does, I'm happy with it. And then I ordered a 1 18th scale Christine. Uh, so that'll be a cool video for next week. And uh, I may have ordered one more thing. I forget what. Oh, I'm still waiting on my blob and the stuff set. And I'm still waiting on my uh, uh, Jason Lives colored vinyl soundtrack. And then I uh, uh, a couple of other uh, soundtrack LPs that I ordered. So... But with that, like I said, I think maybe in my uh, one of my last videos, I'm done for the year. Uh, from this point on, uh, November through Christmas, I'm I'm not allowed to buy anything. That way, my wife can, uh, you know, look at my Amazon cart and, and and take stock of my collection and and figure out something to get me for Christmas. Plus, I just need to. Uh, slow down because I've bought so many things lately. I haven't even opened them up. I haven't shot any videos of them and I haven't cleared out shelf space for them. So I still don't know where some of this stuff's going to go. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's enough for this one. Like and subscribe. Come back for more haul videos, more figure reviews. Uh, of course, you know, Colored Vinyl Tuesday still going for a while and will be for at least uh, six or eight weeks. So, uh, uh, with that, I hope uh, I hope November's starting all good for you. I hope you had a great Halloween and a nice October. Uh, it's slammed to uh, <coughs> pretty cold temperatures here, and I'm sorry, I'm still getting over this cold, but I'm just about there. At least I can talk now without my voice cracking. So, anyway, enough rambling. I'll stop there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks.